Hey guys, uh, so I just wanted to apologize for not uplo uploading the last two days. Um, I just had a busy weekend and uh, just didn't find the time to do it. But uh, I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna upload probably twice today, at least twice, maybe three times. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah. So today we're doing the recap, NCAA recap for Friday, and uh, we're gonna do it for Saturday in just a second. So uh, we'll begin with Friday. Friday, there was only one game last night. Uh, Indiana 57, Michigan State 85. Um, Miles Bridges and the supporting cast, they just cruised past Indiana. Um, Indiana, uh, Robert Johnson had 21.7 rebounds. And Nick Ward had 18 points, 13 rebounds, which earned him player of the day. And uh, so for moving on to Saturday. Uh, First, we have Villanova 81, Connecticut 61. Uh, the first half gave Villanova a 39-18 lead, and they just cruised after that. They're, they're still going to be the number one ranked team in the country, but my question is how far they can they go in the tournament? Um, for Villanova, Jalen Brunson, 23 points, 4 assists. And uh, for UConn, Jalen Adams had uh, 19 points. Next game, we got Purdue 87, Iowa 84. Um, Purdue, they dropped 51 points in the first half alone. Uh, they just killed one of the worst teams in the Big Ten, uh, which is Iowa. And for Purdue, uh, Carson Edwards had 22 points, 8 assists. And for Iowa, Luke Garza was the only bright spot, uh, 19 points on 8 of 10 shooting. Um, so moving on to the next one, this is an upset. Uh, Oklahoma 81, Oklahoma State 83. This was a really good game. Uh, the Battle of Oklahoma. Um, so, uh, Oklahoma State, they were up 12 in the first half. Then Oklahoma, they were up 12 in the second half. And Oklahoma State won the overtime period. And they, uh, they barely won it. But they, they did. Trey Young had 48 points, 8 assists. And for, for Oklahoma State, uh, Jeffrey Carroll had 23 points, 13 rebounds. So, yeah. Um, next game, we got Pittsburgh 54, Duke 81. Uh, Duke dominated the entire game, and uh, they kept Pittsburgh winless in the ACC. For Duke, Wendell Carter had 21 points, 8 rebounds, and Marvin Bagley had 20 points, 7 rebounds. And uh, speaking of Duke, um, Zion Williamson commits to Duke University. It'll be the first time in history that the top three players in the ESPN 100 uh, in the same class will be playing together, which is uh, R.J. Barrett and uh, Cameron Reddish is one and three. Um, I think this is going to be really exciting. Also, like they ha they have another point guard. I forgot his name, but he's pre he's also I think he's also an ESPN 100. He's a pretty good player. Uh, I think this Duke team next year is going to be a really really good team. I wonder how I wonder how many games they can win. They'll probably go in preseason being ranked number one in the country. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a really fun game to watch. A uh, fun team to watch. Um, so moving on. Uh, Texas 51, West Virginia 86. Uh, West Virginia, they never let their foot off the gas. And they dropped uh, 54 points in the second half. Um, for West Virginia, uh, Javon Carter had 22 points, 4 rebounds. And Sagaba Conte. Had 10 points, 14 rebounds. And uh, for Texas, uh, Mo Bamba, 9 points, 13 rebounds, 4 blocks. Um, next, we got Wichita State, 59. Houston, 73. Um, Wichita State has now taken their second straight loss against two non-top 25 teams. Uh, Houston just pounded them the entire game. And uh, for Houston, Rob Gray had 24 points. And for Wichita State, Shaq Morris had 12 points, 7 rebounds. Um, it, another upset here uh, for eighth-ranked Texas Tech, who lost uh, 70 to 52 to Iowa State. Uh, Texas Tech, they really had no business losing to an Iowa State team. That's 11 and seven. This is going to go down as a bad loss. And uh, the ISU, they just killed them in both halves. They just came ready. Texas Tech didn't. And uh, for Iowa State, Cameron Lard had 18.6 uh, rebounds. Uh, now here is a nail biter in the Big 12. Kansas 70, Baylor 67. 
Uh, after Kansas let go of an 11 point lead at the half, they still managed to win by three. And uh, for for Baylor, uh, Joe Lual Akuli, I probably butchered that, uh, 14 points, 12 rebounds. And for Kansas, Malik Newman had 24.7 rebounds. Um, 11th ranked Xavier played 19th ranked Seton Hall, and Xavier won 73 to 64. Uh, Xavier picked up a very important win on the road against 19th ranked Seton Hall. Uh, for Xavier, JP Makura had 27.5 rebounds, and for Seton Hall, Angel Delgado had 8 points, 18 rebounds. Uh, 12th ranked Cincinnati uh, dominated ECU uh, 86 to 60. Uh, they just took him down hard, gave him no chance to come back. And for Cincinnati, Gary Clark, 14 points, 14 rebounds. Um, Gonzaga, this was a good game for them. They came back from a loss. Uh, they beat Santa Clara. Uh, Gonzaga, 75. Santa Clara, 60. Um, for Santa Clara, uh, KJ Fegan had 21 points. And for Gonzaga, it was a really collective effort. Um, now, Arizona... Uh, 73, Stanford 71. Uh, this game was really a nail bite to the end. Uh, Stanford almost completed the Arizona up the the double Arizona upset as they beat uh, Arizona State in their last one. Um, Stanford they could really be a good team this year. I really wonder if they can make the tournament. I think they're they're getting close with some of the better back Pac-12 teams. Um, Alonzo Trier had 21 points, and DeAndre Ayton had six blocks. So that's got to raise his draft stock somewhat. Um, 15th ranked North Carolina, they uh, easily gave Georgia Tech a loss, uh, 80 to 66. It was a really easy game for UNC, and they uh, they just never let their foot off the gas. Uh, Luke May had 17 points, 11 rebounds, and for Georgia Tech, Josh Okogie, I had 18 points, two steals, three blocks. So good game from him, but Georgia Tech's not a very good team. Um, moving on to Arizona State. Arizona State uh, beat California. They barely beat them, though, 81-73. Uh, they're, they're in a rough state right now. They just I just don't think they're chemistry-wise. I just don't think they're, they're together. I think they still have to learn how to win a little bit. Uh, they got outscored in the second half by three, and uh, they just couldn't hold. They barely held on. And for uh, Cal, Marcus Lee had 23 points, eight rebounds. Um, Georgia, uh, Georgia 65, Auburn 79. Uh, Auburn they picked up the slack, and uh, after losing to unranked Alabama, uh, without Colin Sexton, he had that abdominal injury. Uh, this was a good win for them. They really need. They really needed this win. Um, they're probably gonna drop in the rankings. I don't know how much, but they probably are. And uh, for Auburn, Bryce Brown had 28 points. Um, another upset here: uh, Florida 66, uh, Kentucky 64. Um, I think this Kentucky team. I don't think they're gonna be very good. I think. I think this will be a team that gets upset in the first round of the tournament. I don't care who they play. I still think this team is going to get upset early. Uh, for Florida, uh, Chris Chioza had uh, 13 points, 8 assists. And uh, moving on here, uh, Notre Dame 58, Clemson 67. Uh, I think Notre Dame's a good team. And I think um, Bonzi Colson, he's going to come back in about March, probably the beginning of March. He'll probably be back like right before the tournament um if they can just win some important games like this was an important game they needed to win without bonzi i really think uh that notre dame like they could probably make it to six sweet 16 type level uh i think Kem uh, clemson they're a good team in the acc but i want i think they still need to prove that they can beat the good teams and uh for clemson um gabe devoe had 17 points, and for Notre Dame, TJ Gibbs had 18 points. Um, Tennessee 70, South Carolina 63. Uh, Tennessee they needed this win after losing to unranked Missouri, which is which they are a good team as well without Michael Porter. Um, Tennessee I think they may need some more quality wins. 
Uh, and uh, for Tennessee, uh, Lamonte Turner had 25 points. Uh, moving on to some Big Ten play, Ohio State 67, Minnesota 49. Ohio State, they're really going to move up big time this week. Um, they're undefeated in Big Ten play, and I'm almost sure that all the other top 25 teams have lost at least one game in their conference. Um, Minnesota, they really need Reggie Lynch, but uh, he got expelled for uh, misconduct. And uh, Kaita Bates Diop for Ohio State had 17 points, 12 rebounds. And uh, we're moving to an upset here. And uh, TCU 68, Kansas State 73. Kansas State, they're they're good this year. They're unranked, um, but I think I think they're somewhere in the 30s, 40s probably. They're I mean they're gonna make the tournament I believe. Um, Kansas State they just kind of dominated from the start. And uh, TCU, they will be unranked this year, no doubt. They will be unranked after this game, and they've lost a couple other ones this week, I'm pretty sure. Um, but Vladimir Brozanowski for uh, TCU had 15 points, five rebounds, and for Kansas State, Dean Wade, 20 points, six rebounds, six assists. I also want to make the Player of the Week um, for Saturday. It is going to go to Oklahoma State's Jeffrey Carroll. Um, congratulations to Jeffrey Carroll as their team upset fourth-ranked Oklahoma. Uh, so congratulations to Jeffrey Carroll. He had 23 points, 13 rebounds. And uh, Jeffrey Carroll, he won Player of the Week. My next video, I'm going to – Player of the Day. Player of the Day, my bad. Player of the Day. And uh, next week, I will be – uh, or in my next video, I will be announcing our Player of the Week. So – Thank you. Uh, so congratulations to Jeffrey and uh, make sure you like the video, comment and subscribe and uh, peace.